before I show anything else because there will be no any chance to repeat the same I want to show you uh, about this place after I hit the stone so first of all please notice it is uh, um, sorry I had to remember the word it is polished place so uh, because it, it's supposed that this come follower will have this motion in that place so uh, because the uh, prop shaft is static in this direction but this should switch the clutch to either forward or reverse direction uh, so and now I will show you that very reason why I was not able to remove the prop shaft why the prop shaft stuck so you already can see I cannot even put it back very well in that place so yeah you can get the idea it shouldn't be that tough it should uh, it should be free motion and easy motion here like now but it's not yet fully well because this is the native motion for this come follower the shaft prop shaft is static and this is native motion so now you understand what is happening when when you hit the stone this is the piece and i have a video on my channel unfortunately not in english but uh, it's one hour video and there is so many interesting information about how i opened this place so it was here we hit the stone here it's a small push but it is enough to damage this place uh, let's say to press it in that direction so that's why this stuck here as you can see now it's it's not easy going here so for that very reason i couldn't remove the shaft and uh, i couldn't remove uh, and I, I couldn't switch uh, um, speed from forward to neutral and of course to reverse then that's the very reason why I tell this now because I will uh, make this place easy to use for demonstration of all other things about how it works and that's why I will not be able to repeat it anymore so you can see so yeah i'm trying let's imagine that we are using like slight hammer to remove this it's possible now i understand this when i opened so why we couldn't remove it easy you can see yeah so let's imagine you use the slight hammer you connect uh, something here and use the slight hammer if you don't know what is slight hammer then probably I'm pronouncing this wrong. No, well, if you don't know, you can watch on my video a short, on my channel a short video again. Sorry, not in English, but you can find a lot of information in English about the slide hum. So, uh, and it's not dangerous to use it uh, for this work because we don't make stress to any component here. Uh, there is a pin uh, which uh, hold the rest of the part so it's quite okay if you use good push of course you don't want to make any direction uh, any mov mov movement like that but when you have uh, come a race here and um, uh, top root bearing and gear and even bearing career you you don't have this direction uh, emotions you have only this and one more thing so uh, it doesn't matter what happens with this cam shift here uh, let me bring it wait a moment yeah it doesn't matter in which direction it's stuck here when you removed everything it doesn't matter if you are not in neutral you, you, you can't do any neutral you, you remove the uh, shift shaft and so you remove the um, drive shaft so 
everything is open it doesn't matter in which direction in here so if you watch my video about how i removed this after all after cutting on last part you will notice again it doesn't matter so you will just need this push so and particular sorry so and it means that you can also if it's available in your location ask someone to uh, fix this place sorry I don't uh, know this uh, tools how they called in English but you can ask them to fix make this place uh, bigger again and polish it and so and other components are not damaged nothing is damaged so you could use the same housing if somebody will help to fix you this place and uh, the same components yeah it's possible it will be cheap repair then probably uh, not in my location not in Finland uh, in Finland they wanted to replace that all and uh, well it's another subject if somebody is interested I can tell you in comments Okay, let's do a close look up of this place you can see it's polished and you can see the wall here that's uh, where the calm follower stops so with this surface uh, it has this motion there until that wall that you have seen previously Unfortunately, trying to prepare this place for the next demo, I damaged it by pushing too hard to this uh, place. And that's why we are lucky to have the video that I did just before that about uh, problems we had here. The problems came from uh, the fact that we hit the stone here and the come follower stock this video will be either the part of this one or maybe I will just put the link but now I will not be able effectively probably uh, demonstrate you for example uh, uh, the shift shaft how it goes to this hole but well I will keep this piece uh, and you will see uh, something in anyway I actually don't regret that I damaged this wall because even without this wall the comp follower stuck somewhere here but now you can see it has free motion because I was able to access this place after I damaged the wall to remove some metal here and here and there I use this Makita that's the only things I available in my in my garage so uh, now we have that place uh, free for motion of the comp follower i believe that probably the comp follower itself is also damaged i have no idea how to check this but when i have the new gear housing i will try to put the old one this one and if i don't have that free movement then definitely the comp follower is also damaged and i will need to order this and it comes together with the comp shift i have this in my another video about all parts of this gear housing uh, gear box so and now you can also research more close this place and know how it's built i think it will help you in some cases when you try to do repair or understand what is happening or trying to understand what is happening after you hit the stone never hit the stone guy you still didn't like this video i told in the beginning that before i show anything else but i decided uh, that this video is quite enough to understand uh, what is happening when you hit the stone why you can repair this place why the prop shaft is stuck how to remove this i think a lot of subjects are covered by just this video alone and if needed i will put the link uh, to this video from any other videos so please uh, so please like if you appreciate my work 
and this is I think quite unique content uh, despite my bad English subscribe to see more some video will not be in English but quite understandable and you can also use translation subtitles feature I think so thank you guys and now if interested you can just look how I cut it <laughs>